Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maury's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing Let's Go to the City or Animal Crossing City Folk and we have one thing we need to do today because it is the last day of May and we need a mole cricket. Our nemesis, the mole cricket. We've got to find one, it's the last day before they disappear until like the end of the year, I think November. So today we're going to walk around and see if we can find a mole cricket. They live underground. We need a spade or a shovel. And we're going to try and find a mole cricket. So there's going to be lots of listening, lots of walking. It's probably going to be pretty chill. And I don't know how long it's going to take. So that's the plan today. Unless of course Wendell is here then we might go and uh, exchange our fish as well. But mole crickets they sound sometimes like the frog or there's like a chirping under the ground. And then you have to dig for them until they hop out. Actually we need to get our net ready as well. As soon as they come out of the ground, we need to get the uh, ooh, our net out like so, and then catch it in the net. I don't know what the odds are; they're pretty uncommon, but it's the only bug leaving at the end of May. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping it doesn't take too long. But this is gonna kinda be how today is gonna play out, I think. Uh, we still have the daily chores to do, but we'll, we'll spend a little time just trying to find the, find the mole cricket first. We could lay out some plots. And we'll dig up any fossils we see, actually. Or gyroids. <laughs> wow. Um, I mean, the mole cricket can appear apparently any time of the day. But it is uncommon. So it's just going to be a case of getting lucky, I think. Hey Vesta, admiring the pear trees are you? Hello there Skippy, yo yo, out for a little walk. Skippy, do you know much about gardening and flowers? If you take care of the flowers in Moriland, they'll last all year long. With proper watering, they can even survive the winter and keep this town beautiful year round. Watering every day is a small price to pay to keep our town beautiful. Well, I'm glad you're doing some watering because we, we have a lot of flowers. Yes, this could take... Oh! Is that a mole cricket or is that a frog? It was a frog. I think it sounds very similar to that. But it's going to be a case of just walking around. We might have to go in and out of some buildings to reset it as a frog again. To be fair, there doesn't seem to be many bugs around. Hmm. It gives us a good chance of admiring our town so far, I think. But yeah, so apologize, it might be a little bit of a slower episode than usual. Even more slower than usual. Lots of butterflies. We've got three butterflies in one acre. Oh, 
Right, there's a little pond beetle thing. We're gonna have to try and scare some of these bugs off as well, I think. Try and force the mole cricket to spawn in. We haven't had an episode like this, to be fair. Oh, that was a praying mantis. Be gone, butterflies! I don't think there's anything we can do to increase our chances. So we're just gonna have to hunt around. It's probably even less entertaining to watch than it is hunting for a fish, because at least we're like catching things. Thought you heard something. It's a shame we can't scare the butterflies off. But it doesn't look like we've got a visitor either. Uh, what's that? Oh, it's a weed. I think we'll, we might have to go in and out of the shop. That should help us reset these spawns. No, Felbert! <laughs> oh, he looks so happy with himself. Hey, Skippy, do you have like a signature battle cry or anything? Because all the great superheroes have one, and I think I want one too. Can you come up with a cool cry for me? Sure. <laughs> all right, birdie. We're going to go from birdie to Mo. So we're looking for a mole cricket. There we go, enjoy. Give us a shout if you see a mole cricket or hear a mole cricket. I'm just hoping it's not going to be like the uh, freshwater gobby that keeps evading us. Right, we'll head to Nooks and buy the flowers and coming out should um, should reset the spawns. But they're really tricky because not only have you got to find, like locate them and dig them out of the ground, you've then got to catch them before they run away. So even though they're uncommon, they're still pretty tricky to... Uh... Ooh, Regal Vanity. Have we got a Regal Vanity? <laughs> Catalog, please. Oh, we do have the Regal Vanity. Right, we'll buy the flowers since we're in here anyway. We are caught up to the real day, by the way. I just grabbed the money rock yesterday and then caught up to real time. Uh, you didn't miss anything other than finding the money rock. I didn't want to waste the opportunity to get sort of 10,000 bells for free. Right, there we go. So that's all we need from the shop. We might come in and out of here a couple of times, or maybe the museum or Able Sisters or something, just to keep resetting the spawns. I guess that's the fastest way to kind of uh, trigger new spawns. Let's go this way this time. Um, oh, who's that? Huh? Thought someone pinged us. Nice to see this tree grew as well, right next to the house. That's pretty good. Oh, are you two okay? <laughs> Try to remember what sound they make. I'm sure it's similar to the frog. But we could be wasting our time. 
I like this area. We should do something nice with this area there. If we see a butterfly, we can pretty much guarantee there's not going to be one nearby. Because generally, you only get one bug and one fish per acre. And although the acres are pretty hard to distinguish in this game. So sometimes, obviously, if they're both on the edge, if like one's on the left edge of their acre and one's on the right edge of their acre, they can be right next to each other. But generally, they're going to be pretty far away. I'm not even convinced they would spawn near the beach, to be honest. We're just walking. If we try and keep random as well, we'll stand on the same tiles less. So we shouldn't do too much damage to the grass, just spending a day walking around. We need to get Francine a new outfit as well. Oh, nearly walked into the pitfall. <laughs> There's a couple of uh, fossils to get from here, so we'll grab those on the way past. Hmm. What's one along here somewhere? There it is. They look really cool in the, oh, it's a gyroid. They look really cool in the um, in the sand. Yeah, the ants are spawning here, so they're not going to spawn down here because the ants are just going to keep spawning. Maybe we'll head up to the back of the map. This area, we need to do something about this area as well. It's uh, lost a lot of grass here. We haven't caught one yet. Um, I'm pretty sure it'd be next to the grasshopper. Uh, flea. No, we've definitely not caught one yet. I normally avoid them because they're, they're so difficult. Oh, I found a star. They're so difficult. Another gyroid. <laughs> they're so difficult to catch. So I normally just um, avoid them. Oh. Oh, I forgot we've got all the trees and that in our pockets. We'll plant the flowers here just to get them out of our pockets. And we'll drop the bazillion gyroids we've got. Um, check this for the money rock. Nope. Okay, now we can go and dig this one up. I don't think we're going to find one. Oh. Oh, I thought I heard one. It's nice to do a little challenge like this though. We don't tend to focus on the bugs much. So it's nice to give them a little bit of a attention.
At least we found the money rock now. I wonder if it's a luck thing. If uh, if we've got bad luck, we're not gonna necessarily encounter rare spawn. We got a double 4,000 bag as well. Twelve thousand one hundred bells. Just check which way we need to go for the net. There we go. So we need to go to the left on my controller for the net. I didn't realize, thinking about it, how many ponds we've got in this game, in this town. Oh, there's another star here. We're finding all the stars today, or all the dig spots. Another f butterfly. I just wonder whether the bugs change if you're far enough away from them, or if you have to go in and out of a building. Let's just go in and out of our home just again to try and reset the spawns. Um, it definitely, definitely resets going in, in and out of your house and buildings. It's just whether you get far enough away from an acre, will they swap out for a new spawn? I'm not sure about that. So it's going to be quite a peaceful day. Where are you, Mole Cricket? I don't know if they chirp, only if you're on top of them as well. No, Apollo, no! <laughs> Someone's been pl planting flowers? I don't want to run in case we scare it off. And I also don't know how long to give it before we give up. Up a tulip. Uh, yes. Do some flower tidying uh, as we're going. Ah! Heard a balloon. There it is. How come we can't see it? I wonder how uncommon is uncommon. Is it like one in 50? Just gonna get the Nookopedia page up. 
Um, November May, all time, all day, underground. Very uncommon, that's all it says. So, no hints. Do you think them? Uh, I wouldn't say all day if they're more likely to come out at night, would they? Ladybug 2, butterflies. I see they do sometimes or tend to group together a lot more than I thought they did. I'm sure they make noise. It's going to be really awkward if they don't actually make noise in this game. They definitely make noise in the original and in New Horizons. Ooh, Tida. Oh, look at this. A graduation hat. Scholar's hat. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to take that. I can't remember if we've got the orange tie-dye as well, so I'm going to take that. In fact, let's buy them all. Sunset top, buy that. What's this? A sparkle? Leopard umbrella. Oh no, not the <laughs> twinkle shirt. There we go. That's all right. We'll sell the umbrella. Okay, let's hope. Let's hope there's a mole cricket nearby. There's a bee. Butterfly. If we actually find one, this is going to be a really awesome achievement. But how long do you give it? There's a ladybug there. Have to listen out, I guess. When we're running around like this, our town feels so small. Another fossil. Yeah, these uh these candies might be hurting us. Forcing ants to spawn in instead of uh Mole crickets. That's a bee. Uh, something seems a little off about you today. Yeah, we're we're hunting for a mole cricket that we're probably not gonna find. Oh, I know it's a widescreen TV you have. Somehow you look less handsome, cat. What? Uh, <laughs> sure. There you go. We'll trade it for a rug just to keep you happy. Hmm. Oh! 
This is it. This is the mole cricket. Oh, we find it straight away. No, get back here. Yes, yes, we found it. I caught a mole cricket. Woohoo! Proceeding with interrogation. Oh, but I get it because he's a mole. <laughs> I can't believe we found one. I thought we were going to be here for hours. <laughs> Let's go and donate it quickly. <laughs> oh my goodness. So it does sound a lot like the frog, doesn't it? I can't believe we actually found one. Whew. There we go. Let's get this uh, mole cricket donated. Wow. I love a little challenge like that for an episode. That was quite good. I'm glad it worked out. Uh, normally when we've done a couple of episodes now trying to find the freshwater gobby and we still haven't found it. Ah, oh, let's uh, hand over this mole cricket. Oh, it's a good job we had space as well. I suppose we could have swapped it if not, but still. Oh, I dare say that is a mole cricket. Stop, do not free it. Leave the beast caged. Insects rather bother me. Touching them strikes are quite revolting. Uh, as both mole crickets and moles dig holes, it's said that many parts of their bodies evolved on similar paths. But the mole is nowhere near as off-putting as this bug. How could they be? Moles don't have antennae. Blah. Enough, I say. Our uh, thanks for your uh, for the donation. We shall endeavour to keep this wretch safe and happy. There we go. Well, let's go and see the mole cricket so we can hear it again. Since we're in here, and that's kind of the goal of today. Well, we found the money rock and we bought the flowers, so the goal really was just to find the mole cricket. Uh, we found quite a lot of uh, bugs. We can hear it. I'm guessing we can't see it. Here we go. Long locust, mole cricket, dung beetle, pill bug. So it's in here somewhere. I guess it's just underground. This is quite a cute little museum, isn't it? What is that? Is that a mushroom? A luminescent mushroom? Uh, look at the ants. Ah, oh, spider! <laughs> oh, maybe they are just like mushroom lamps or something. This is a really nice little museum here. They haven't got much on the walls though. It's a shame we can't get some giant tree stumps like that in our gardens. Which way did we walk? Yep, that's the sound that normally haunts us. We found it today. Get a little, uh, what do you call it? Thumbnail opportunity. Nice little flower. Uh, do these flowers spawn as well? I know they do in Wild World. Do we get those in um, City Folk in the summer? Well, there we go. I don't think we're going to see the mole cricket. Um, it's in here somewhere, probably in that bigger uh, patch there with the two weeds. But there we go. Success. I guess that's a good place to wrap it up. I just wanted to catch the mole cricket today. Um, and thankfully we did and we donated it just in time because tomorrow they won't spawn anymore at least according to Nookopedia. Oh, there's some hybrids in here Nice Well, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the journey It was a little quieter a bit more peaceful than usual, but I hope you enjoyed it nevertheless uh, Thank you of course to the channel members for supporting this content and this channel uh, without you We couldn't do it. You're a huge help your support is incredible and you're appreciated so much. So thank you to all the channel members as well. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.